Hollywood Jackson here for Studio 863, and today we're going to show you a little bit more about the IK Multimedia T-Rex 5 and the Mixbox. So I just posted a video uh, a couple of weeks ago about the T-Rex 5, and Cayuse had brought up a good point about the T-Rex um, and using it in his DAW, and I just posted a video about using the producer presets, and so this is kind of a, a little bit of both. Um, just some information that I found out. Now, I've been using the T-Rex 5 mostly to do mastering. And it wasn't until Kyusi brought up the using it in the DAW that I actually researched and looked into this. So what I have discovered is with the T-Rex 5, um, the producer presets, if you do not have the entire T-Rex 5 Max bundle, some of the producer presets aren't going to work because not all the equipment is there. And so I think that my T-Rex 5 came with one of my Max bundles with the Amplitude software, I believe. So I don't personally have the complete bundle. So we're working on that um, because I do like the producer presets. And so I'm going to show you that now. All right. So what I discovered was that over here um, in, my, in my effects section, if you scroll down to the IK Multimedia uh, section with the Amplitude and the Mixbox. Now, as I was scrolling through, I discovered what I had already thought would be the case. Um, and there is a T-Rex 5 suite in this setup. And what that is, is basically a way for you to pull this into your DAW through the T-Rex 5 suite. And so I'm going to show you that now. We're going to create an audio track. And I'm going to I'm going to turn that off, put that into nine. Okay, and so there is a T-Rex suite here. And so I'm going to scroll down until I find that. Let's see here. I saw it just the other day, and I had mentioned that in the video that I did for Kyusi. And um, like I said, I really hadn't looked into it much until he mentioned it um, because I had been using it for mastering only, and so. Now that I've done the video about the producer presets, only some of those are going to work. All right, so here it is right here. And so I'm going to open this up for you. And you just pull that into whatever you're going to use it on. And I'm going to open that up. It'll take a second for it to load because I've got all this other stuff going on. All right, so here we are. Here's the T-Rex 5 suite. And it opens up just like the T-Rack opens up on the standalone version of the program. So I'm going to drag this over. And so basically it starts out in the default section. And so I'm not even sure if it has the menu. Yeah, I guess the menu's right here. Okay, there we go. And so here's all of your advanced mastering. Now, I got into the uh, section on the engineer presets. Um, it's the in the engineer series and so only some of these are going to work because I don't have the complete bundle So the only thing that really worked for me in the version of the T-Rex that I have is the Dave way and so what you have is uh, The drums and see I don't have some of those as well So there's your instruments and as you see I don't have those and my guess is because we don't have the complete bundle and that's what I've discovered about the uh, engineer series um, and so that was pretty much the case with with all of these in the engineer presets the only ones that really worked were the Dave way um, and as you can see here none of these are opening um, because there's nothing there so in order to utilize the producer presets you're gonna have to have the max bundle for the T-Rex series and so one of the things that I like most about it is, like I said, those are engineer presets built and used by uh, some of these engineers in the industry. And that's one of the reasons I like the producer presets is because this setup here is really, truly a plug and play setup. Um, and that's one of the reasons I like it. And of course, like I said, some of these do not work. Actually, most of these do not work because I do not have the complete version of the T-Rex 5. And so, Kyusi, that's pretty much what we had already figured was if you don't have the full bundle, 
then it's not going to work in the DAW. And as you see in this case, really the only thing that works is the uh, the modules themselves. So you can actually drag those in here. Um, but if you don't have the complete bundle, uh, installing the producer presets will not work for you because you don't have the full bundle. So not all the equipment is available. Um, and I would imagine that's the reason why they're not working here. Some of the uh, plugins that you have for the modules, they they themselves have actual setups. Um, and so like this one is one of my favorites, the Black 76. It's basically um, the 1176 Universal Audio compressor. So I like it a lot. It's one of my go-to uh, compressors that I like to use for vocals especially. Um, but I did find that the mix box has similar and comparable um, producer presets in it already loaded up, and you can add to that. And, um, of course, we have the Max Bundle for that, and everything works with the producer presets on the mix box. And I do like the mix box. It's just like the T-Rack, pretty much. Um, but we are planning to add the T-Rack's Max Bundle to our setup eventually. Um, we haven't done it yet, but um, as you can see, um, you can use the 76 for just about whatever you want to use it for. And so here's some of the, here, you know, like here's one for the bass. Um, and, and then you've got uh, lead vocals, um, room sounds, um, toms, uh, just about everything you want is is still in the individual modules. So if you have the T-Rex, any of the T-Rex, I guess I didn't notice this until I did an update. And so maybe they've caught it too. So once I did my update, I noticed that the T-Rex 5 suite was in my Reason software. And so you can still use the, the hardware that you do have does have individual presets for that in the module section. So if you just want to use that for vocal compression or whatever. Um, but again, we're actually using the mix box. So these are pretty much set up the same way. And um, But this gives you a good start um, in using. So you got drum compression. Um, and, and you can use these as drum buses and whatnot. But the mix box has a lot of things to offer as well. So if um, you're looking into this to purchase the T-Rex or to purchase the mix box, I'm, I'm kind of stuck in the middle because we have the full version of the mix box and it works great. Um, it works just like this plugin works. You just drag it into the DAW and it's got everything you could imagine wanting to use. And it has, it does have this uh, module in it as well, the 1176. And I'm going to show you that now. Um, let's close this out. But you can use the T-Rex the same way. So I'm going to go back over here and show you the mix box as well. And um, I do have some producer presets installed into it. And so, like I said, the mix box pretty much works the same way. Um, it comes up empty when you start on the default section. And you can go into, as you see, the vocals. I've got vocal chains already preset. Um, when you go into the preset section on this, um, you have pretty much everything, bass, uh, delays, drums, guitars, and as you'll see, I got some of my producer presets here, um, and you have vocals, um, bus processors, um, just about everything you could think to have is here, um, and this is one of my favorites here, um, the John Podiker. Um, and he's got pretty much everything. And if you go into the bus processing, you've got compression bus. Um, there's pretty much everything. And, I, and I'm, I think price-wise, they're probably pretty comparable between the mix box and the uh, T-Rex 5. So I'm, I would imagine the T-Rex 5 has a little bit more gear in it, so it's probably going to be a little bit higher in price. But um, I've been using quite a few of these um, in some of my recent, most recent mixes, and um, they they work really really well. Dang it! And that's one of the things I hate about these little slide deals. I don't care too much for that because um, I'm not quick on the draw sometimes, and there's a little bit of delay when I'm recording this. And you know you've got, and you can also switch down here 
uh, once you get on the preset you want to be on. Um, and there's several different setups for the vocals. Um, now, one of the ones that I did like was this one here. And this is the lead vocal start. And this has a dual compression. Um, it has the 1176 and the, the 2A. Um, and I don't think you can see the entire setup that's here. But uh, let me see if I can shrink that down for you. I'm going uh, to move this over a little bit. You know, like I said, there's a little bit of delay on this. Okay. So now, maybe I can drag this over here and you can see the whole thing. There we go. And so this is the complete plug-in. Um, you can have eight. What is the deal? You can have eight in the chain. Um, and that's the complete chain. And like I said, there are quite a few producer presets. I've got a ton of um, default presets that just came with it um, that you can use for pretty much anything and everything and you can also save these um, and as you see like I said they've got everything bass uh, guitar acoustic guitar uh, keys percussion uh, vocals um, spaces synths um, everything that you want to use is in here and so I wanted to share this with you guys um, because, like I said, I've discovered a few more things about the T-Rex 5, and it will work in the DAW, but it's not going to work with the producer presets unless you have the entire T-Rex 5 Max Bundle. So if you're wondering about purchasing any of this equipment, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that that's kind of the way it is with the T-Rex 5. And in my opinion, if you can't utilize the whole entire plug-in chain setups with the producer presets, there's really no point in buying it. So if you're going to purchase it, I suggest that you look into purchasing the entire package. And the mix box may be a little bit cheaper. I really haven't compared them in price. Um, but they may be a little bit cheaper on the mix box because there's not as much gear. But the mix box is very comparable. Um, we've been using it for quite some time now. And it works wonders on vocals. And that's kind of what we use it for. And I found using it in the Reason software as an entire chain plugin instead of using individual plugins, it seems to not use up as much of the CPU. It just treats it as one plugin. So that does help out on the uh, CPU side. So if you're wondering um, which one to choose, um, my suggestion is both, but um, I know that if you're like me, you're running on a budget, and so you kind of got to pick one. And probably for the money, the mix box is going to be the better purchase. But in the long run, if you plan on using the producer presets, you may want to go with the T-Rex 5 Max Bundle, and you will have um, not only the default presets in the individual module, you can also download the producer presets with that, and you'll have some totally pro plugins that you can use and just and they really are truly plug and play I plug them in and very seldom do I tinker with those plugins anyway I hope this helps you guys out uh, in your choices and what you want to purchase you know I've complained a little bit we've had a few issues with some of the IK multimedia stuff but overall the the mix box and the T-Rex 5 and the Amplitude 4 software has really been good to us. Um, we use it daily in the studio here, and the Amplitude 4 was awesome. The Amplitude 5, um, not, not so much for me. Um, I don't like change. So when you start changing the interface and changing the way it is, you know, I'm in, I live in a world where you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you come out with a new product. You know, keep it simple. But... You know that's just me so I'm sure that the amplitude 5 is just as good or better than the amplitude 4 but I'm so used to using the amplitude 4 interface and using that setup that I really really haven't messed with the amplitude 5 yet because I quite honestly I really haven't used the amplitude 4 to its capacity and so it's a really neat software uh, if you hadn't checked that out go ahead and check out that video uh, amplitude 4 and 5 and um, I hope I was able to help you guys out. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio 863. Thanks for watching. 
Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share those links. And just press on the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications on the latest music and videos from Studio 863. If you like what you see, go ahead and click on that like button. And while you're at it, reach over and hit that subscribe button too. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below or just send us an email. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio A63. Thanks for watching. Studio A63.